good afternoon my lovelies and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to share with you the very first video lesson that my students requested so without further ado and without a very long introduction let's switch over to my laptop and get started Ang ibabahagi ko sa inyo ay kung paano mag-compute ng quantity supplied sa pamamagitan nitong supply function. Ano nga ba si supply function? Ang supply function po ay isang paraan ng pagpapakita ng ugnayan ng presyo at ng quantity supply. Ito rin po ay ang matematikong pagpapakita ng ugnayan ng quantity supply at ng presyo. Sa madaling sabi, ipinapakita nito kung ilan ang bilang ng mga produkto o serbisyo na nais ibenta o isupply ni producer sa katapat na halaga o presyo. Ang supply function ay maaaring isulat sa pamamagitan ng equation. Equation na QS is equal to C plus DP. Kung saan ang QS ay para sa quantity supplied, C for the level of supply independent of price, o ang bilang ng produkto na unwilling ibenta ni supplier or ni producer. Si P ay ang presyo ng produkto at si D ay ang price coefficient of supply o ang numero na ating ginagamit upang i-multiply kay price. And it also indicates the responsiveness of the producer. Now, may mga ilan akong mga halimbawa upang malaman at maunawaan natin ng lubusan ang ating pong arabin. So, let's switch to my Microsoft whiteboard in order for you to see the solution and the computation. Okay, so nandito na po tayo sa aking whiteboard. So, ang gagawin natin ng value yung equation kanina na QS is equal to C plus DP. At ang gagamitin natin ay QS is equal to negative 350 plus 10P. So, the given will be price which is equal to 35. And let's assume that this 35 pesos ay ang presyo ni Tina Pai. Now, let's supply the given. QS is equal to negative 350 plus 10 CP na 35 pesos. So, QS sa pagsusol, If follow natin ang order of operation. So, negative 350 plus 350 for 10 times 35. So, para makuha ang final answer, isosolve natin si negative 350 at si positive 350. Kapag addition po ng unlike sign o yung isa ay negative at yung isa ay positive, nagiging subtraction po tayo. Okay? So, subtraction, and then para malaman yung sign, kinakapi natin yung sign nung highest value. So, for this case, wala silang highest value kasi pareha sila ng amount. So, ibig sabihin, the answer will be zero. Okay? Zero. Meaning, for the price of 35, there will be a zero quantity supply. So, zero dahil hindi magsusupply si supplier sa 35 pesos na halaga lang ng tinapay. So, bakit kaya ayaw ni supplier magsupply? E, 35 pesos naman yung halaga ng tinapay. So, malalaman natin yan sa pagpapatuloy ng ating lesson. Okay? So, for the second Uh, uh, thing na gagawin natin, subukan natin i-adjust yung presyo. Baguhin natin si price. Increase natin si price ng 5 pesos. So, magiging 40 na si tinapay. Okay? 
So, 40, 40 na pi. So, ply natin ang given. QS is equal to negative 350 plus 10, 40. So, follow the order. Negative 350, 10 times 400 ay positive 400. So, sa pagsasolve, QS is equal to negative 350 plus 400 is still dahil unlike sign magiging subtraction at follow the sign no highest value. So, for this case, negative 350 plus 400, the answer will be positive 50. Okay? So, kita na agad natin yung pagbabago. So, sa pagbabago ng presyo from 35 to 40, nagbago rin si quantity from 0 to 50. Meaning, both of them are increasing. So, para malaman natin na tama ang computation natin o ang solution natin, gawin natin yung tinatawag na checking. Okay? So, let's assume na ang given natin ay si 50 or si QS na 50. At ang nawawala ay si P. So, let's supply the given. QS is equal to negative 350 plus 10P. Lagyan natin ang value si QS. 50 is equal to negative 350 plus 10P. So, in this case, we cannot solve them right away kasi unlike pa yung variables nila. Pagsamahin natin yung parehas ang variable. So, let's do the transposing. Let's transpose 10p on the other side magiging negative 10p is equal to negative 350 transpose si 50 on the other side negative 50. So, let's solve it. Negative 10p is equal to negative 350 minus 50. So, pag like sign po sila Pag like sign ang ating pong isusold, ay magiging addition ang ating operation. And for the sign, ikakapi lang natin yung kanilang sign. So dahil negative 350 to at negative 50, magiging negative 400. Now, para matanggal si 10P at maiwan si P, i-divide natin sila with the same coefficient for both sides negative 10. So, dahil negative 10 ito at negative 10 yung ilalim, automatic cancel out. E1 CP is equal to negative 400 divided by negative 10. Kapag division po ng like sign, nagiging positive yung answer. So, negative 400 divided by negative 10, the answer will be 40. So, tama na ba? Si P dito at sa given dito, are they the same? Tama. So, ibig sabihin, tama ang computation at solution na ginawa mo. So, let's proceed to the analysis. So, with the price earlier of 35 here, there is no quantity supply. But when the price increase from 35 down to 40, I mean up to 40, the quantity increase as well from 0 to 50. So therefore, when the price increase, the quantity increase at the same time. This is true to the concept of the law of supply wherein when the price increase the quantity supply increase and when the quant when the price decrease the quantity supply will decrease at the same time okay so bakit kaya sinusundan ni quantity supply si price because price and quantity supply, they have a strong relationship with one another. 
So, bakit kaya ganito ang nangyayari? Kasi po, si supplier ay meron siyang sariling perspective. So, ano itong supplier's per perspective? Okay. Ang perspective po ni seller ay? Kailangan niyang kumita ng malaki. Kaya, kung ang presyo ng isang bilihin ay malaki, chance na nilang mag-supply ng marami para mas malaki yung kitain nila. At kung mababa ang presyo ng isang bilihin, mababa lang din ang isusupply nila dahil less yung income nila doon. So, we can say that supplier's perspective is really different from the perspective of of the buyer. So that's for our lesson for today in supply function. So I hope that you've learned from my discussion and if you have questions, clarification, and even violent reaction, feel free to leave a comment down there below. And at the same time, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na to, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button below in order for you to be notified every time I posted a new video. Thanks for watching!